did have some medicine. I guess I could have helped use that, but I didn't want to waste it. Okay. We're riding again. the heck? I don't know who the enemies are. That's... Okay, well now I know who the treasure hunter is supposed to be. Treasure map for you. What? Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. <laughs> a treasure map? Take a look at it in a second after I buy this land. Is that Abe Lincoln? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine was drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Unfaithful as in he's gonna cheat her, or unfaithful as he's going to kill her. I'm not a marriage counselor here, man. Stop talking in riddles. I think I just stepped on the snake. Gunfire. How good are you with iron? What? I bet you can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Why not? I like watching a man eat his words.
wish I could see the bird. Right. Pay up. Ain't that something? All right, here's your winning. Is that it? Come on! Okay, I'll give you your money. Up your mind. I ain't got all day. Okay, I'll take it. Better pay dividends. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Come on! Now nah, this camp is so far away. All right. Well, don't just stand there. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. There it is. Ah, here about it is all of us. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Twenty bucks? Did all that for twenty bucks? I don't have that city unlocked yet. Travel to Armadillo. doing it's a paper thank you Yeah, that's 
Can I buy a new gun? I got iron to suit any need. Please. Howdy, friend. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. Who? I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. Double barrel shotgun. One shot. Oh, no, it's ammo. Couldn't help the lady in time. Quinn Malloy. Going to grab. Marshall Sting first. What? I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking bear. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. 
I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. 